I've already primed my eyebrows with the Lorac primer. So let's play with this NARS brush. Sorry if I look like a demon, but that's how I look when I ain't got no makeup on with my contacts. But I need them to see. So we're gonna take um, Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm gonna do my chola brows today. Just my something simple. I'm not liking the brush for my brows. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular Morphe brush and I'll be back when I get done with my brows. Okay, so I did my brows. I really don't care about brows today. We finna play and make it. Take this Smashbox primer and use it instead of my MAC painterly like I always use. Let's just use a little bit of this Smashbox. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Now see, this is more of a primer to me, more so than a base. Because a base helps your shadows pop more. Primer just helps them go on smoother. So this is the Smashbox. 24 hour photo finish um, primer. So we're gonna take the full exposure and a double exposure. So uh, this is the full exposure. The Nudes Lover Dream, you got seven mattes down here. And you got seven shimmers. The Smashbox Double Exposure. I'm talking low because my daughter is asleep. Smashbox Double Exposure. You have the same thing here. Seven mattes and seven shimmers. So we're going to work with the mattes and the shimmers in both. Alright guys, so let's go in with the Double Exposure Palette. And mm -hmm, let's do something different. So let's take this burgundy-ish color right there. Kind of looks pink, but it's not. I'm still getting over my cold, guys, so bear with me. Let's just work it with the G17. And our E22, and we're gonna go in with. And then I just use this color. Let's. Uh, let's deepen it up with some black, like a little bit of a black. Let's just go really lightly tapping the outer V, lightly, and make it too smoky. And we'll go back in with this same Morphe share brush on the other side on the other side and we'll go into uh um, I don't know I'm do something different so let's take this really white looking shade here yeah let's try that sorry I'm not focused Let's go. I think they're both great. I don't know why people were saying that they weren't pigmented. I like both of them. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. and play around with this gel liner. Because I've already used the Rimmel, the black Rimmel. And it's okay. It's not the blackest. So here's the e.l.f. And Liney's eye. Hope you guys can see me. Not much light back here because I'm in the dark. Mm -hmm. You're from the mayor, James. 
I like it. I really like it. I like both of them for this purpose. The gel liner is smooth and creamy and the brush is very soft and it doesn't leave those jagged lines like you can get. So yeah, this is the NARS. It doesn't have a number on it. But and this is this is perfect. I'm gonna play with some foundation that I know is too dark for me. Um but let's just play around with it. I can always highlight and try to so let's play with the bed. So I love it. It's I don't think it's too dark. Not right now anyways, if it oxidizes. We'll see. But last week when I put it on, it was a little too dark. But that's because I didn't tan. So what else do we have playing? Oh, the BB Illumination. I forgot to put that on under this. So let's just put a little bit on onto our cheeks and see how that goes. Because I'm not going to... I'm not... I don't really feel like um, concealing and all that. Because I'm not going anywhere. Just playing in products. So. Okay, actually I take the head and let me show you how this bit night banana in cream to me it just looks greasy couldn't get it to spread I couldn't get it to do anything it's just stuck there so Elena said it was a midnight banana powder 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 and uh, let's just bake it for a minute and see if baking it will help so I'm just gonna throw some powder on it I'm not gonna contour or anything like that um, today. So let's just take this BB Plus Illumination from Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna apply it with my finger on top of foundation. Oop! And it squirted all over my damn shirt. All over my new shirt. Okay, so let's just take a little bit there. Down the bridge of my nose. On this side, let's just see what we get. This is sort of like a Becca pour. Okay, let's try that on that side and try to rub it in. Oh, it's like a greasy mess. See, I don't, I don't like messy products. I rub that in. It look okay down my nose. See, I don't, I don't like messy stuff. Hmm. Like a highlighting brush. Rub that in. I don't like that. Um, let's try the Becca. So here's the Becca. The poured. Just gonna take a little bit. I gave my chin a nice little shine. Dust away that powder. Look at that. Oh, that is just a bigger mess. Oh, let me fix this no. stuff. And I'll be um, this I have to learn how to use. I don't like it so far. This right here is an absolute fail. The NARS brush is good. The double exposure palette is good. The full exposure palette is good. Now I'm taking this Milani T-Rolls that I've never used. I just cracked the top on it just now. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that on because I love romantic rolls so much that I never ever stop wearing it. <laughs> and I haven't... I'm not... You know, this is not how I really put on my makeup. But 
we're just playing in new products because I'm not going anywhere because I've already been where I needed to go and guess what I went there without makeup on yeah so whatever that's pretty and lastly let's go in with this LA lip glaze that I've never tried before oh let's just put a little bit on see how that is It's pretty. Definitely need to line it. And I'm not the type of girl that lines stuff, but I will line this. I don't want to look a hot mess. Okay, guys, so we have played in a lot of different products from lashes to palettes, BB creams, illuminators, primers. We play with brushes. We play with lip paints. We play with blush. I play with a new, a lot of new products today, and I feel like the best bet that you can get. I do like this LA Glaze. I like that a lot. Um, the double exposure palette is good. The full exposure palette is good. I like both of those. And um, the Wet n Wild Primer is good if you are dry skin. We played in this Becca Foundation. This one is in Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion. This one is in the color Sienna. So if you are a MAC NC50 or a little bit in between like I am, that's the perfect color for you. Um, it's getting a little bit, a little bit red because I'm more yellow, orange tone, but it's good. So that's it. We play the makeup. Thank you guys for joining me in this little play and makeup. Let me know if you like these videos. I'll make more. We'll play in more stuff. I have so much more stuff that I bought that I haven't got a chance to use. So I would love to play in it and let you guys see just in case you want to see any of the stuff you might want to get um, or know how to use or whatever. So yeah, we'll play together and I'll talk to you guys in the next play date.